So now I'm going to show you how to render that um, sort of like fur um, green fabric. So I'm going to start out with my base color, which is going to be a pale olive. Um, that's YG95. So it's a little bit more yellow. Um, this is going to be my brightest color. So I'm just going to lay this out everywhere. And go in and like create a few little shadows with this color too. Then I'm going to use my um, shadow color just to kind of like create some um, initial shadows. So the shadow color that I'm using is a G99 olive. It's a pretty dark um, shadow color, so we want that like high contrast of the like dark shadows and then that bright um, green coming through because we want it to look shiny. So once I've sort of laid out my initial shadows, um, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add some little like fur texture kind of like this around those areas. You should look at your um, swatch and see sort of how the patterns look. I am even kind of like going over the edge of um, my drawing a little bit um, because it is kind of like furry and dimensional. And you'll see the those highlights sort of peeking through there. But look at your swatch and look at um, those highlights and look at the shadows and what shapes those are kind of creating. Okay, once I have that down, I'm going to start adding in some like brighter highlights to some of the areas. So with a, um, this is a 10% French gray, I'm going back in and I'm adding in some brighter shadows to those um, highlight areas. So on this side where the light source is coming from, I'm adding in those super bright highlights. Highlights over here, too. All right, and then um, I'm going to use a different highlight color as well in my shadow area. So I'm going to use like a brighter green and go into some of the shadow areas and add in just a little bit of depth to the shadows too with this lighter colored pencil. So it's like pretty textural everywhere. And then I'm just gonna go back over some of the shadow areas and make some of them darker with um, a warm gray. So this is a W7 warm gray. And I'm just gonna go back in and redefine some of those little shadows just to make those shadows look really dark so that um, your fabric looks really shiny. So it has those really bright highlights and then you have the really dark shadows. And that is the green fur.